What is up guys, you got Not The Worst here bringing you a short little video, well hopefully short, we'll see. Um, little guide video on some of the events that are going on. First thing I wanted to mention just beforehand, uh, jumping into it because this is not being promoted super amount and they didn't really say anything about it, but uh, this little grandpa thing, well it was EU yesterday, grandpa cron thing that's coming to town. You gotta kinda check out for Twitter when they announce it. You can see four hours ago is when they first said it and then they announced it when it was 30 minutes before. Uh, and basically they're just giving out free stuff um, at the Hydel Inn on very specific servers. A GM spawns there and then gives stuff away. Stuff away. So you can see some pictures of homeboy here and however yeah obviously i did not make it uh the comments on it although <laughs> if you've never looked at bdo twitter before it's kind of a cesspool in the comment section on everything ever posted so keep that in mind uh but in most cases people were pretty much upset with it although i imagine most people that weren't upset don't typically comment kind of like negative reviews on a website right but anyways something along those lines apparently there was a lot of people were lagging um grabbing gifts and stuff and you can see yeah the events the event was is over now whatever kind of thing but just wanted to point it out so maybe you can try and catch it i was literally driving home from work when this was going on so i had no chance but it, it's out there check it out try and uh grab some free stuff if you want i don't actually know what they were giving out because no one has said anything and i wasn't there so there's that that actually wasn't even going to be in the video originally i just wanted to point it out since it did pop up on twitter in the meantime uh what i did want to cover was a couple of these winter fest events and something i got a little bit wrong in the old patch note view yesterday the uh, grandpa con event here um this one i had kind of combined with the build a snowman those are two separate events which had uh, me a little mixed up when I was looking at it, so I was quickly corrected, as usual, and uh, which I appreciate. And so I'm going to cover the uh, Grandpa Cron gift thing here, and then also um, talk about the snowman thing, which is literally pressing R some number of times to a couple different people, so it's not super, super complicated. So what this is is literally what it says. Uh, Grandpa Cron's coming to town. During this merry season, Grandpa Cron will ride his flying sled around skies of Belia, Heidel, Calfion, Altanova, Valencia, and Grana to drop special gifts. That's literally all the details they give on it. They don't say time. They just tell you it's from now until the day after Christmas, next Wednesday's uh, event. And it tells you what gifts he will drop. So that leaves something left to be desired as far as what actually happens. How does it work? Is there an announcement? Well, first thing, there's not an announcement. It does not display a server-wide announcement at all. So, yeah, you just have to go. Now, are there set times? I don't know exactly for sure i can tell you that i saw him twice today and once was about 2 15 p.m eastern time in velia and the second time was about 5 15 p.m eastern time uh in uh also in velia the other thing to that i i did diving i've asked, i've talked to other people in it nobody see it's i'm not sure if it's random i could be wrong and if i am wrong i will correct it uh in the description below afterwards if it's a set time that i find out but so far haven't gotten any confirmation on it i sent a gm ticket in it they didn't respond to it and i was like all right cool guys asked around other people on the server chat whatever and literally no one knows so as far as i can tell it's kind of random spawn events but that's just a weird thing for me to believe because they typically do have uh set times for these but i don't know why you wouldn't say the set time if it was so on and so forth maybe just to surprise people i guess i don't know you would have a set time anyways that being the case obviously i'm at work during the days uh but i did manage to catch old uh, grandpa cron so that i could get a little clip video for you guys so let me pull that up here real quick and just show you i have the game open as well but he is not currently up so i came in i was uh i was literally at work oh this is great video check this out okay well, here's the work computer. This is terrible. I apologize. Good old work computer comp recording. Anyways, that's literally what it is. Homeboy just flies around like this. And then I'm wandering around. I see other people zipping around. Oh, this is great, dude. You get, you get to watch this in 10 frames per second. Whatever. It's just a little clip. We're going to we're gonna burn through this. So then I'm like, okay, do you act, does he actually physically drop these gifts? Do you like snag them? Do you have to follow them around? Like, what's the deal here? I'm kind of figure, trying to figure it out in all three frames that we see. Um, and not really sure so I'm like just he's going over here and then eventually I noticed you have to like stay like looking at him and you want to stay under him too because if there are other people paying attention they'll do it I think he does it right here yeah see then he actually like drops a gift I'm like okay so then in in these six frames you can see me start to head over to where the gift would be dropped obviously it was long gone and I'm like okay is that just an animation really no idea how this works since they gave us um, minimal, minimal, minimal amounts of information along with it. Uh, so he's still zipping around. Let me clip, jump a little ahead because he drops another one and I actually grab it so that you can see how it works. Dude, this is the best. This is almost like stop motion. This is this is new YouTube meta right here. Stop, stop motion videos. Okay, here we go. 
I, it's my work computer there. This on what, what, what are you what are you gonna do? So he drops it right here ish. Uh, sorry, it's about uh, seven more frames. You'll see it drop now. Boom, there it goes. I'm like, all right, cool. And that's over by the training dummies, which means everybody there's AFK. So here we go. And it literally just drops a present as predicted. You click on the thing and there you go. And I got an extra life EXP scroll. That was it, boom, professional clip right there, okay? So that's that one. You can get any of these things from here. Um, it's The thing is, if you're missing out on it, it's not like the world's most exciting event ever. I mean, energy tonics are nice if you're on a life skilling trip or whatever and you, you get some of those for free. I guess skill XP scrolls are good if you're trying to grind that up, maybe hitting a dummy. Other than that, it's like hats and stuff. There's some free gold with this stuff here. But nothing so, super, super amazing uh, from what some of my guild mates were saying. They got a whole bunch of hats and one also one XP life scroll. So I'm not really sure on the rarity. It might just be straight up any of these things across the board. Anyhow, the other one that has a little bit better rewards for you uh, is this guy here, the build a snowman. And we don't have to check this one out in the 10 frame version. So we do get all 60 for this one. Um, so this can be done in any of the major cities. That guy's tripping out right there. Yo, what's up, bro? Relax. Oh, he's doing a weight bug thing. So it makes him keep walking straight smart. So this one can be done in any uh, any of the major cities um, that are listed in it. Uh, we're in Velia at the moment here. So to do this, you go, if you're familiar with the winter event from the previous week, this one is done in the same place as well. So you head over to this homie, which was around for last week's winter event. And here's where it gets a little bit complicated. What you gotta do is you talk to this bro first. He's gonna give you this quest, snowman that resembles someone number one. So once you press R 57 times through that, uh, crash rewards for it is a snowball and the requirements for this you need a bottle of river water one or a bottle of seawater three if you don't know where to get that pop up in this little bad boy right here go to the material bro and you can auto run to the material bro and buy yourselves a couple of empty bottles of water in our case we don't need to do that because I already have them prepared so they're in my storage but I probably should have put them in my inventory I was almost completely prepared so yeah grab a couple empty bottles from that guy the material worker you can just jump into the ocean real fast and then just right click on the empty bottles and you will get seawater bottles, which are in here somewhere. Why do I not see them? They're in here, they're here. Where are they at? Seawater bottles, right there. Okay, boom, three of these bad boys, got them, okay. Obviously doing freshwater, you have to go to a freshwater source. So if you're in a town that's closer to that, you only need one of them. If you're here in Belia, it's all seawater, so you get that. Run that back to this beast, Faustin. Be like, yo, what's up? I got your seawater. It's going to be disgusting because it's super salty, my dude. He's like, no problem. I love salt. And then he gives you resembling a snowman number two. And you have to go all the way over to here for this one. So talk to her. Boom. Completed snowman number two. Next. We're crushing this. Okay. So she's got one. Guess what it's called? A snowman that resembles someone. Part three. So we line that one up. What does she want you to do? She wants you to walk over this pile of snow and then press R. And then you're going to pat on it. I think that takes an energy or something like that. And then the snow gives you quest number four. And then you press R again on that. And congratulations, you have completed the most difficult quest in Black Desert Online. Okay, so as far as what you can get from it, they didn't list it in the actual patch notes themselves or in the event, on the event itself. Um, they did say that you get a sharp, um, excuse me, let me correct myself. They do list that you get a sharp and you get two hards as well. You also get this little guy here. They just didn't say what can get in it. So you can see there the usual boss weapons, uh, advice of Alks 35 to 45, seal golden treasure chest, black magic crystal box, some uh, XP scrolls, Laverto, awakening box. I actually did get an awakening box on my other one. Uh, sacred statue, some money stuff you sell, perfumes, whale tendon, memory frag, and of course, blackstone. So since we're doing this one in the video, let's see us grab a blackstone because that's usually how it goes. And then we will wrap this up. Go. He, I did not get a jump up in the air, so I believe that is a blackstone and or memory fragment. Oop, no, perfume of some other stuff. Swiftness, great. That's exactly what I wanted because I life skill so much. Anyways, it's free stuff, and honestly, the sharps and hards is nice enough on its own, considering all you do is press right a number of, or right, press R a number of times and talk to NPCs back and forth, back and forth, and you're done. So yeah, those are the events that are popping off right now. So yeah, keep uh, looking in the skies for those Santa Claus things, and they are they do happen in different towns as well, the ones that were listed on the site. So there is that. Um, that is it for this video. Also, make sure you don't miss, we're doing a Christmas 24-hour live stream. It is gonna be the day before Christmas Eve, so Christmas Eve Eve, if you will. We're doing a 24-hour, starts at 12 p.m. Eastern on Sunday. We're going until 12 p.m. Eastern on Monday, if I don't die, so hopefully, 
I will make it throughout the way and you can guys can check that out. So the Twitch uh, link is in the description below. Make sure to hop on over and follow that so you know when we go live. I might have a prep stream tomorrow and Saturday just getting some stuff together for the 24 hour stream. Um, we're gonna do some boss runs. Obviously we're gonna do a lot of enhancing, some pen dandy attempts will be mixed in there but um, I don't think I have enough stuff to go for 24 hours just straight enhancing. So we'll get some other stuff mixed into it. Uh, maybe a little bit of grinding or whatever everyone wants to do. Some other people wanna do like, um, battle arena stuff with viewers so we can definitely do that too but either way just make sure you follow so you can check that out for it and if you haven't already be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you get notifications when i put these videos out because i'm putting them out mostly all the time but yeah anyways that's gonna be it for this video everybody oh also hit the like button thing because that recommends the video and it it makes me allowed to continue living um but yeah that's gonna be it for this video everybody thank you for watching and i will see you next time